Thanks for listening to our online messages from Calvary Chapel North Shore on the island of Kauai. Stay up to date on content and our events on our website, calvarychapelnorthshore.com and on Instagram at CCNS Kauai. If you'd like to donate to our ministry, you can do so on our website. Now let's dive into the word. Welcome back, church, to number seven of our Reflections videos. I can't believe we've done this many so far, uh, but as always, I pray that it's a blessing to you guys. We're going to do something a little bit different this week. As you probably already know, Pastor Steve usually does his Sunday message, right? And then he sends me a raw summary of what he'd like me to cover as I create these videos, and those summaries are, are no big secret. I always list them at the bottom of every Reflections video along with the application questions. So if you haven't been looking at those, please go back and use those as study material for yourselves. But I wanted to do it a little bit different today because um, as I thought about his message, it reminded me, um, you know, the relationship between Paul and Timothy just reminded me so much of what I received from him for these videos each week. It's literally, when I, when I get these summaries, it's like a letter that he sends to me and it's such an encouragement. It's such an uplifting, um, you know, drive that gives me that fuel to go about serving in ministry uh, week after week. And so I'm just going to go ahead and read this to you guys. Uh, Pastor Steve says this, the Apostle Paul speaks to men in Philippians 2, 19 through 30, Timothy and Epaphroditus, who were a tremendous blessing to him and to his ministry. These men were like-minded, that is, having the mind of Christ. They loved Jesus so much that their lives were devoted to serving God. They were fellow workers, fellow servants, and fellow soldiers. God used them tremendously for the kingdom. These men served with Paul in the ministry that God gave Paul. They were like Joshua was like to Moses, helping with his ministry. They were by Paul's side, always offering to lift his hands in ministry, which meant to help in any way they could. Guys, this type of devotion, Pastor Steve says, required them to continually humble themselves to do whatever was necessary. Notice how it never says they drew attention to themselves. You might ask, how can we be used like them? The answer boils down to one question. How much do you really love Jesus? If we really love him, like we say, it will come naturally. The result of our love for Jesus causes us to humble ourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up and use you in a way that will blow your mind. To God be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Pastor Steve wants you guys to soak deeper into this thought by asking you three application questions. He asks, are you willing to do whatever God asks of you? Or are you serving conditionally? Second one is, are you willing to be a Joshua to a Moses? To be in the shadows, to help someone who God is using mightily. Not, by, not to be seen by others, because they only see the one you're helping. The last question he has for you guys, question number three, is how much do you really love Jesus? Do you love him enough to lift the hands of others in ministry? Again, I know this is a little different, um, but this is what it's like for me to read it for the first time. And it almost brings me to tears when I have a brother around me um, that just pours into me this way, that writes this letter to me that encourages me to live like Jesus more and more. And I pray that that's how you're receiving these videos, you guys. Um, you know, I once remember an old mentor of mine telling me of a story of a man who was struggling uh, deep in sin and couldn't get out of it. Struggled every day. Just like a roller coaster, up and down, up and down. He was like, Pastor, I can't figure out how to fix this. I can't uh, do it. It's so tough. Every day I, I might be up here and then I go back down here. And uh, he was waiting for this um, you know, big epiphany or this big answer, big response 
um, of enlightenment from this pastor. Um, and the pastor's response was simple. Um, hopefully the response blesses you today, but he says simply this, I pray that you fall more and more in love with Jesus every day. It's that simple, but that difficult at the same time, right? And so as Pastor Steve shares here, how much do you really love Jesus? Do you love him enough to lift the hands of others, to put yourself second? Remember those old I am second bands? <laughs> to, to put yourself second, to serve alongside with others in ministry. So again, we pray that this blesses you guys. We're always in prayer for you. And uh, we look forward to maybe seeing you at our Wednesday or Sunday services and our um, ministries that we have going on at the church. But if not, if you're online, we're always praying for you, always thinking about you. And um, leave a comment or, or things below if, if there's other things we can pray about. God bless you guys. Mm -hmm.